In this video, we'll show you the simple steps to follow to retrofit your power cable to the safer, more secure smart plug. For this connector update, you'll need a number two Phillips screwdriver, wire cutters, utility knife, liquid soap, and a rag or paper towel. Here are the materials we've included. Begin by separating the gasket, connector face, and the three screws from each other by removing the connector face from the connector body. Squeeze the levers and pull them apart, then set the connector face assembly aside. Next, cut the female cord end from your existing 30 amp 125 volt cord set. Inspect the copper wires for corrosion and cut back more cord if necessary to reach bright copper. Measure one and a quarter inches back from the freshly cut cord end and use marker to indicate where to cut. Then, lightly score the outer jacket with a utility knife and be sure not to cut any of the inner wires. Remove only the inch and a quarter segment of the outer jacket, exposing the inner wires and the fibrous cord filler. Cut away all strands of filler. Next, measure and cut a half inch of the inner wire jacket from each of the individual color-coded conductors. Note, inspect all freshly exposed copper for corrosion. If corrosion is present, Recut the entire cord several inches back or until you find bright copper. Then repeat steps one through three. Set the wire aside and continue to the next step. Compress the flexible cord seal and force it into the rear of the plug body as shown. Look inside the plug body and inspect for proper cord seal fit. The seal should be fully expanded and free from folds or kinks. Next, use the cone-shaped cord install tool and cover the end of the prepared cord and apply liquid soap liberally on the cord install tool and about 12 inches of the cord. Push the lubricated cord with the cord install tool through cord seal and connector body from the rear and continue pushing the cord until six to eight inches of the cord has moved past the front of the connector body. Then remove the cord install tool. Next, for ease of alignment, use pliers and slightly bend the ends of the conductor wires. Using the provided hex key and loosen the set screws in the front of the connector assembly to allow plenty of clearance for the insertions of the copper strands into the inlet holes. Simultaneously align and insert the individual wires into their corresponding color-coded inlets. Push all wires in as far as they will go and make sure all copper wiring is fully captured within the rear of the metal capture. Visually inspect the connection through the clear plastic inlets to ensure there are no stray copper strands. Next, use the hex key to tighten all screws to 20 to 25 pounds. Close cable clamp arms around cable jacket and make sure there is a minimum of a quarter of inch of cable jacket that extends beyond the jaws of the cable clamps. Then, insert the two inch and a quarter number six screws and pinch the cable clamps around the cable to hold them steady. Next, use a number two Phillips head screwdriver and tighten the screws evenly around one turn each while alternating from one screw to the other. Until cable is sufficiently captured, do not exceed 14 pounds of torque. Also, do not over tighten screws into cable clamp swing arm. A small gap is acceptable and should be even on both sides. About an eighth of an inch to one third of an inch gap is correct. There may not be a gap for smaller diameter cords. Hold the cord seal and connector body in one hand and carefully pull the cord with the other hand backwards until it begins to enter the connector body only. Caution. Do not pull the components completely together. Carefully push components together until the assemblies are fully seated. Then, wipe clean any excess soap. Next, locate and install the three one-inch number six screws into corresponding inlet holes on the face of the assembly. Use a number two Phillips head screwdriver to carefully screw the components together by hand only. Again, do not over tighten the screws. The max torque is 14 to 20 pounds per inch. Lastly, remove the adhesive backing from the seal and slip it over the plug face. Use a blunt tool and continue pushing seal into the assembly until it seats and adheres fully. Check for any deformation of seal and adjust the fit. And there you have it. You have just successfully retrofitted your power cable to the safer, more secure smart plug.